Well, we can finally say it. the NBA regular season is about to get underway. And here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happy. We'll watch the Toronto Raptors in this one as they go up against the Washington Wizards with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony. This is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Well, two years after their first title, the Raptors last season missed the playoffs for the first time in eight years. Fred Van Vliet said people are overlooking us again, which is not a bad place to be in. Kevin, this front office finds diamonds in the rough, so it's only a matter of time before they're back in the mix. I agree, David. They are a quality organization. They always find a way. Thank you. Here's a look at what's coming up for Toronto. On Friday, they'll be matching up with Al Horford and the Boston Celtics. And then on Saturday, they'll go up against Chris Depps, Porzingis, and the Dallas Mavericks. So a look at the starters for the Wizards. In the backcourt, it's Dinwiddie and Beal. Hachimura out there with Daniel Gafford. And it's Kuzma in its small forward. And for the Raptors, guard spots filled by Van Vliet and Trent. The forwards are Ananobi and Siakam. And it's Birch in at the five down low. And we're at the beginning of a long NBA season, Doris, for a team looking to go the distance. What's the single most important thing to establish early? And probably, Kevin, the commitment to the collective. You know, there's always going to be new faces. How do you integrate those personalities? Can you get everyone on the same page at the outset? Understand some nights some guys may play, maybe not the next night. Are you committed to the team? Now here is Hachimura. Back to Dinwiddie. Fred Van Vliet grabs the miss. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for the Raptors. And of course, game one of the season gives them their first real look at the Wizards. Yeah, two conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. So what you look for in the first game, one, does one team make a statement? And two, how does the other team react to that? And so it's the Raptors getting on the board first. Hachimura kicks to Dinwiddie. Now here is Hachimura. Defense is right there. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Van Vliet looking around. Pass to Trent. Back to Van Vliet. Dinwiddie with some nice G. And the foul on Kim Birch. That is his first foul of the game. Ref's calling it close already as he picks up a quick early foul. Up top Gafford. Dinwiddie outside. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Van Vliet. Trent kicks to Van Vliet. And again, Toronto with the triple. Well, Van Vliet has proven more than capable as a legitimate three-point threat. Knocks down the jump shot there. So first quarter just over a minute and a half in. Dinwiddie outside. Back to Beal. Puts it up. The Wizards with another miss. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. And when it comes to pure scoring output, few guys do it better than Bradley Beal. Yeah, Bradley Beal has rounded out his offensive game. Tight handle, sweet shooter, ability to put it on the deck. His offensive focus has been unmatched. This guy is constantly probing and attacking holes in defenses. So it's the Wizards now. After Toronto picking up the basket just moments ago. Well, the defender's all over him, but this guy is able, Bradley Beal, to play through it and get the score. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Van Vliet kicks to Ananobi. Back to Van Vliet. To the middle. Here's Siakam. And he uses the glass on the way. 80% from the field to start, playing with a ton of confidence.
Wizards trail by eight. Dinwiddie outside. And no good that time. Great D that time from Van Vliet. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. And so it's Beal. He'll bring it up for Washington. Here now is Dinwiddie. Pass to Hachimura. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Boy, even with the contact, Rui Hachimura doesn't lose his touch or his concentration. So tough to distract this guy. Now, here's Siakam. And it's Trent in the corner. And again, Toronto with the triple. Yeah, great outside shooting, really fueling this run. Beal the pass to Hachimura. The pass to Dinwiddie. Now here is Hachimura. Offered by Birch. Just five on the clock. Siakam passes to Birch. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Siakam against Hachimura. Dinwiddie outside. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Well, there are times where the court vision gets questioned, but Rui Hachimura, the delivery, sets up his teammate. Really well done. Van Vliet kicks to Trent. Back to Van Vliet. Passes to Birch. And the rejection by Gaffer. Now, here's Dinwiddie. D right on him. Here's Kuzma. Offline with his three. Raptors leading by seven. Ananobi with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Kuzma. Pass to Dinwiddie. Shoots over Van Vliet. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy. Just struggling to make shots right now. Top of the key, Birch. And the Raptors miss again. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I, I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Wizards trail by seven. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. The steal. Fast break Toronto. Siakam's running. Van Vliet. Six points for him. And the rejection by Gafford. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. Chris Boucher is checked in for Toronto. Barnes comes in for OG Ananobi. And the Wizards making a change here as well. Lions checked in. So timeout called here. The first for the Raptors. Five to shoot. The Raptors need to get a shot at Trent. And a miss there on the triple. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. That's his first foul. On Trez Harrell, he's checked in for Hachimura. Pass to Bryant. Beal against Siakam, and Bryant slams it in. This is the area of greatest improvement in Mr. Bradley Beal's game. How about the growth in his passing? Wow. To the inside. Siakam passes to Van Vliet. 
Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. And Toronto making a change here. Trogic has checked in, and a switcher also for Washington. Bairton has checked in. Wizards trail by five. Beal, the pass to Dinwiddie. Watch the screen. Now the pass to Bairton's. Now here's Dinwiddie. Five on the clock. Outside Beal. And again, Washington, no good. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think choice on that possession. And throughout his career, Dragic has been a leader. It's a natural fit for him. Duncan Robinson called him the ultimate leader. Dragic, leader of his national team for a decade now. God just embraces the responsibility of it all. And that one falls for Dragic. And Dragic came into the NBA with something on his resume that not many other rookies have. He has a ring from winning the Slovenian Pro League the year before he came to America. Catching up on the changes for Toronto. Achua, he's checked in for Siakam. And Flynn subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. Both free throws good from Dragic. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Caldwell Poe passes to Abdiya. Passes it to Bryant. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. Boy, tremendous focus from the big man, Thomas Bryant, making the difficult finish look pretty routine. That's nice. Achua kicks to Flynn. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one on Caldwell Pope. No question, he got bumped on that shot. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And a year ago, he was an 80% shooter at the line, so that's more than acceptable. And he knocks down the first one. No good on the second free throw. And coming up, Montrezl Harrell said he patterned his game after the all-star Zach Randolph. Zebo was undersized on paper but was strong as an ox and found the angles to finish. Well, the defense daring him to shoot, and he makes them pay for their disrespect. And here is Barnes, still looking for his first bucket in this one. That shot misses. Great D that time from Harrell. And like the great Zebo, Montrez Harrell might be undersized on paper, but Craig, that 7-4 wingspan levels the playing court. Not to mention his leaping ability. Harrell's more of a dunker, quite honestly, but he also displays that soft touch inside. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now Bryant following the miss by Denny Abia from deep. And already they've taken out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. It's his first trip to the line.
That free throw good from Avdia. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Flynn with it. Pass to Boucher. Dishes it to Dragic. Achua in the corner. Toronto working the ball around now. Just five to shoot. Barnes finds Boucher over Harrell. Boucher's shot is off. Wizards trail by four. Pass to Avdia. Banked in off the glass. Seven points for Denny Avdia. Toronto's gone four or seven from three-point range so far in the first. Rogic against Bryant. Rogic the pass to Achua. Over Avdia. Achua no good. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Back to Berzons. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. And that one gives them a plus-five rebound advantage, Kevin. Flynn dishes to Dragic. Second shot opportunity, and Boucher with that nice bucket there inside. And the Raptors lead by four. Well, just it's easy to say, this guy wanted it more, creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in. Back to Caldwell Pope, and he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Well, excellent concentration from Bryant on the offensive end, actively looking for ways to facilitate for his team. Barnes looking around. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And what you get with Barnes, Greg, tremendous versatility. And he gets others involved, Kevin. Plays great defense. Has an excellent feel for the games. He doesn't have to score to impact winning. But if you need points from him, the young fella can provide that as well. He misses the free throw. He hits the second from the line. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for the Wizards. It's a three-point game. There's the pass to Bertens. Over in the corner, Avdia. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Toronto's gone 4-7 from three-point range so far in the first. Rogic finds Barnes. Count it good. And the Raptors lead by five. And how about the court awareness there? Uh, Dragic, fantastic job spotting the wide open teammate. Here's Avdia. Toronto grabs the miss. Unbelievable. He blew the hell up, guys. No clue what went wrong there. The kick out to Barnes. And he gets it back. Back to Flynn. Off target with his three. Wizards trail by five. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And the wide open shot from Avdia. Shot clock reset for Washington. Count it. Thomas Bryant is a problem on the offensive backboards. This guy's big and skilled, and you better box him out. Here's Dragic. He has five. From deep. 
a good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Raptors lead by three. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. And home court advantage is always a factor. But Goran Dragic, adamant you can't rely on it. It's easier to play at home. You're, you're playing in front of your fans. Um, you're sleeping in your bed, and you know every, everything feels better. But um, still, you know, um, we need to be locked in from the first minute to the last and um, play the same with the intensity, with the energy like we did uh, so far at home. You know, Greg, they've been pretty solid on their home floor. <laughs> the good teams do that. You have to take care of business and protect your home court. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Toronto. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game as something else they've done right from the get-go tonight is run. So much of their offense coming on the fast break. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. So for Toronto right now, we've got Chris Boucher. He's out there with Barnes. Achua two. is out there with Dragic. And it's Flynn in at the point. And that one falls for Achua. After a whistle, we often see players demanding their coach challenge the call. Greg, were there plays you wish you could have challenged in your career? Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. <laughs> but the game was just so different back then. And we had other ways of resolving issues and letting the refs know when we maybe didn't appreciate a call. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. Hachimura, no good. Now Flynn. To the paint. Knocked away. At the elbow, it's Avdia. Hits that one. Nice pass leading him to the bucket. Avdia's got nine. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Passes it to Barnes. Goes up again, and it's sent back by Bryant. Boy, blocking shots is usually about timing, but with Thomas Bryant, it's about that tremendous length. Avdia, the pass to Caldwell Pope, and here is Berton. Good on the triple. Berton's got the lead up to one now for the Wizards. You know, we talk all the time about how important it is to have bigs who can stretch the floor. An example there. Gets left side. And here's Barnes for three. And the Raptors miss again. Wizards have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Here's Avdia. And again, Washington with the triple. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Toronto calls timeout. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. And it's a completely new group for Toronto. And a new group getting ready to come in for Washington. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Thomas Bryant. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Bertinus. Beals checked in for Avdia. And Dinwiddie sent in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. Oh, here's Van Vliet. He's got six, and the foul on Rui Hachimura. That's his first foul. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there.
And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Trent kicks to Van Vliet. Shot to stop the run. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Wizards. Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. Well, they've established their presence in the paint tonight also. And a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far. The first one falls. Trent hits them both. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for the Wizards. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Pascal Siakam was the most improved player in 2019. He says, I love that I cannot be able to do something, but if I put in a lot of hours doing it, I can become good at it. The former 27th pick overall said, not to sound arrogant, but I saw this coming. Guys, he bet on himself. He did. He was smart. He certainly put in the work. D.A., thank you. Van Vliet against Dinwiddie. Pass to Hachimura. Back to Dinwiddie. They get a hand on it. Lock at six. And out of bounds as the Raptors gain possession. Toronto trailer. Van Vliet outside. Pass to Trent. Back to Van Vliet. And again, Toronto no luck. For Washington, they've gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Hachimura. Uh, Hachimura can make play after play above the rim. This guy's got a natural, gifted, athletic frame. Van Vliet against Dinwiddie. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. For Toronto, they have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight. 7 for 10. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. And both free throws, good for Birch. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Van Vliet against Dinwiddie. The pass to Kuzma. Fires for three. It's rebounded by Ananobi. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. That gives them the lead. Van Vliet's got nine points. Well, because of his high basketball IQ, Fred Van Vliet understands catch and shoot. I'm shot ready. Jumper in. For Washington, they've gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. And Doris, though he's getting the press for his scoring, and he's been prolific, Van Vliet's defense is equally as impressive. My goodness, great instincts. Rarely fooled. You can't trick him. Quick feet, strength in the post. You see guys try to take advantage of his lack of size. He won't have it. And here's Trent following Kyle Kuzma's three. Passes it to Van Vliet. Inside. Puts it up. And good that time. Birch has got four this quarter. Well, you love the unselfishness of Fred Van Vliet. This guy is so good recognizing when his teammates are open. 
Washington's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Pass to Hachimura. Outside Beal. Now here's Hananobi. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Shots good by Siakam. Well, Siakam pushing right through the contact. Go ahead, young sir. Washington trailing. Dinwiddie finds Kuzma. Here's Beal, defended by Trent. Beal against Ananobi. The shot by Beal, no good. Toronto's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Beal against Van Vliet. Here's Trent. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got his fourth assist in this one. Boy, Van Vliet, just great vision and feel for the game. Wizards trail by five. Dinwiddie passes to Kuzma. Back to Dinwiddie. Pass to Gafford. Shot clock at five. Will it go? The Wizards with another miss. Well, this is how you shut him down. A tremendous contest against a very skilled player. And here is Van Vliet. He's got nine. And he drops it in from the low post. And now a seven-point Toronto lead. Well, this second quarter has proven to be a turnaround. This guy looking much more comfortable all of a sudden. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for the Wizards. Next up will be a home game matched up against the Pacers. That game is the first and last of their home start. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Dinwiddie's got his second bucket of the night. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. To the middle, here's Birch. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. Birch has got six. Oh, what a pretty pass. Throw to the open spot. Lead your teammate perfectly. Wizards trail by seven. Dinwiddie outside. For Birch. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Well, that's just inconsistency from him, and it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. Van Vliet against Dinwiddie. The pass to Birch. Shot clock at six. Here's Trent. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. Passes it to Ananobi. Back to Van Vliet. He's looking for Birch and finds him. It's deflected. Oh, that's merciless. Kuzma plays with such competitive energy. Wasn't letting that shot get off. Now here's Beal, and the layup's good off the glass. Beal's got his second basket of the game. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Van Vliet passes to Siakam. Shoots over Hachimura. Siakam's shot is off. Wizards trail by five. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Misses the three. The Toronto, they've gone. Six of 14 shooting here in the second. And it's Trent in the corner. And stolen by Kuzma. And the foul called on Pascal Siakam. That's foul number two for him. Chris Boucher is checked in for Ken Birch. And then for Washington, Ryan is checked in for Daniel Gafford. Andres Hill comes in for Rui Hachimura. Advia subbed in for Kyle Kuzma. Outside, Beal. Raptors leading by five. Van Vliet passes to Boucher. And there's Van Vliet on the assist by Siakam. And that's 13 points for Fred Van Vliet.
for Washington. They've gone 7 of 16, shooting just under 50% here in the second quarter. Here's Dinwiddie, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Dinwiddie with some big shoes to fill. Steps into the vacancy. Westbrook left with the Wizards. Washington targeted Dinwiddie early in free agency. throw drops for Dinwiddie and some changes here for the Raptors Achua he's checked in for Siakam Barnes comes in for OG Ananobi and it's Drogic in for Trent and a switcher also for Washington Contavious Caldwell Pope he's checked in for Beal and both free throws good for Dinwiddie Toronto leading by five Van Vliet passes to Drogic. Back to Van Vliet. And that's good. And it's Drogic with the assist. Van Vliet's got 15 points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Washington has gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down to the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. So timeout called here. The first for Washington. Red Van Vliet really making a difference here. And he just keeps hitting shot after shot. They need to design a way to deny him the basketball. Make someone else beat you. Bertinus, he's checked in for Washington. Here is Bryant. He has six. Harrell kicks to Bertans. Pass to Abdiya. dishes it to Bryant and they recover it. Toronto leading by seven and it's Drogic off the drive it's good on the putback yeah three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim the D had better start buckling now here's Avdia and finished off by Abdiya. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. There's Van Vliet following the bucket by the Wizards. And it's sent back by Bryant. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. There's an S, the pass to Harrell. Abdiya dishes to Harrell. Six on the shot clock, and Bryant wide open. He shoots on the three off target. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. We've got 118 left to play here in the second quarter. Achua finds Barnes over Bertans. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Caldwell Pope on the wing. No good on the triple. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. And again, no good by Toronto. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. There's 45 seconds left in the first half. in the post covered by Van Vliet and that basket's going to count folks gets the goaltending call right there yeah, that's a tough call for the ref to make there I'm not sure it was on the way down but that's that's how they saw it Flynn's checked in for the Raptors on the wing Barnes a three-pointer no good and, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter and you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. 
Now here's Dragic. He's got five. Flynn misses. And here we go. The Wizards fast break. Near the three-point line, it's Dragic. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Dragic has got seven points. And so it's the Toronto Raptors heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much here with Nick Nurse. Coach, the efficiency wasn't there in the first half. What adjustments do you need to make? I thought we got pretty good shots, you know, and if we're not going to score, it makes getting our defense set up difficult. So we've got to keep shooting them. Hopefully we start making some of them. Now you can't score until you shoot, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And now the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Fred Van Vliet has been the story in this one. He ended up with 15 points, four assists, and one steal. This has been a bounce back game for him after some struggles their last time out. And let's get your thoughts, big fella, on the Raptors. They're playing with speed, pushing the ball off turnovers and long rebounds, running every chance they get. As we all know, scoring on the break is so much easier than finding open shots in the half court. Kenny, your take on Washington so far. They really got to turn the intensity up in the second half. You look at their free throw differential between the teams, it's a big gap. They need to be more physical and start earning more fouls. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Fred Van Vliet has been sensational. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Raptors leading by seven. So on the floor for Washington. In the backcourt, it's Dinwiddie and Beal. Daniel Gafford is out there with Hachimura. And it's Kuzma in at the three. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. Dinwiddie kicks to Beal, and that one's good. Hachimura. This guy is too powerful and likes and relishes the opportunity to play through contact. Rui doing Rui-like things. Now here's Van Vliet. Pass to Birch. Here's Siakam. Shoots over Hachimura. Washington with the rebound. Kuzma's got six rebounds now in the game. Hachimura the pass to Beal. Got three off the mark. Toronto shooting has been wayward so far. Only 37% from the floor. Birch's shot's good. Nice touch there near the hoop. Second half rolling along now. About a minute played here. Dinwiddie surveying the floor. Fires the three. Beal from long range. Birch grabs the board. Birch has got rebound number five here tonight. Down low and stolen by Kuzma. In transition, here come the Wizards. Kuzma with the ball. Rebound by the Raptors. Siakam's got his sixth rebound on the night. Ananobi passes to Trent. Drops in the layup for two. And now an 11 point Toronto lead. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block.
Dinwiddie with it. Six points for him. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Here's Dinwiddie. To the middle. Here's Gafford. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got his third assist on the night. Siakam against Hachimura. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Burge the pass to Siakam. Shoots over Hachimura. And the rejection by Gafford. Stripped away. Van Vliet outside. At the elbow, it's Siakam. Here's Birch. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And he finished last season right around 71% from the line. So not exactly his best percentage. That's good from Birch. Good on both. Here's Dinwiddie. He's got six. There's the pass to Hachimura. Here's Beal. The teardrop falls in. Six points for Beal. Great play off the bounce by Bradley Beal. He has added this methodically over the course of time. Go ahead, Bradley. Drive it, baby. Ananobi, no good. Wizards trail by nine. And it's always exciting to see a developing talent like Rui Hachimura. There's no doubt, because the growth we've seen from him has been so encouraging. This guy works on himself, looks to improve his skill set, and you only hope the stat line continues to improve. Siakam finds Van Vliet, and the Raptors miss again. Washington's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third, still 0 for 3. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Beal's got four points in the quarter. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. Van Vliet outside. Birch. And the rejection by Gafford. Here's Trent. Misses off the left iron. Moves back up. And it's good on the way in. Birch has got 12. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look right at the cup. Nicely done. Here's Dinwiddie. He's got six. From 11 feet away. And it's denied. Sent back by Siakam. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm. And you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. No clue <laughs> where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Kuzma with it. Picked up by Van Vliet. Kuzma kicks to Dinwiddie. Back to Kuzma. Six to shoot. Let's it go. Beal can't get it to go. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. I really like the way he's playing in this half. He looks so much more aggressive and confident. Here's Dinwiddie. Outside, Beal. And there's the block. Just stops it cold and takes possession. 
Van Vliet against Dinwiddie. Pass to Siakam. Shoots over Hachimura. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Raptors. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. And Siakam has got the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. This is the most they've led by 13 points. Good. Eight points for Siakam. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. They grab their own miss. Out to Kuzma. They need this one. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Gafford's got four points this quarter. What an effort to get the tip in. Just wanting it a little bit more. Pass to Birch. Van Vliet against Gafford. Beal with the steal. And the foul on Kim Birch. That's foul number two for him. And some changes here for the Raptors. Chris Boucher comes in for Kim Birch. And it's Drogic in for Trent. Then for the Wizards, Bryant comes in for Daniel Gafford. And it's Caldwell Pope in for Dinwiddie. Caldwell Pope finds Bryant. Ananobi against Beal. Here's Bryant. Good D by Siakam. Toronto leading by 13. Rockets the pass to Siakam. And finished off by Siakam. That gives him the double-double. 10 points and 10 rebounds. You have to love the aggression right there. He's got the vertical. Might as well put it to good use. Beal against Dragic. Pass to Hachimura. Back to Beal. Here's the three. Sinks the three-pointer. Beal's got 11. You're talking about one of the sweetest shooting guards in the entire NBA. Bradley Beal from deep. Yes, sir. Van Vliet against Caldwell Pope. Van Vliet kicks to Ananobi. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Kuzma. Some changes for Toronto. Barnes, he's checked in for OG Ananobi. And Flynn subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. And then for Washington, Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Hachimura. Davis Bertans comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And it's Alvia in for Beal. Barnes can't get it to go. Wizards trail by 12 to the wing on the left. Here's Caldwell Pope. Lays it up and banks it in. And part of an overall effort for Contavious going for higher percentage shots. At that time, working inside. Now here's Dragic. He has seven. Barnes dishes to Flynn. Back to Barnes. Dragic finds Siakam. Just five on the clock. Tries from ten. Rebound by Harold. Harold's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. There to this, the pass to Caldwell Pope. Avia with it. To the inside. Harold fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. That is such ferocity and energy when you're trying to contend with Montrez Harrell, so skilled at converting through contact. Achua, he's checked in for Toronto. That's good from Harrell. Raptors leading by seven. Outside Dragic. The pass to Barnes. And just miss after miss right now. I'll tell you, his shot is just lost right now. There's just no consistency. Amazing that they're still up in this basketball game. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Precious Achua. This guy is not afraid to get physical. Thomas Bryant doing everything he can to fight to get the shot off. Wizards making a switch here. Beals checked in.
Oh, three throws good for Bryant. Well, just because you're a second round pick does not mean that you cannot carve out a legitimate NBA career. Give credit to Thomas Bryant. Incredible attitude, great work habits, and this guy continues to grind. Here's Boucher. That one goes. Count it. And the Raptors lead by seven. And they just refuse to go away and really have slowly worked themselves back into the game. Beal, the pass to Abdiya. Back to Beal. A floater, and it's good on the way up. Beal's got nine points now in just the second half. Well, he had trouble making shots in the first period, but rounding into himself here in the second. Outside Flynn. Shoots over Beal. No good off the back of the rim. Going for that shot in that situation is something that isn't going to help the offense. And in a way, by taking that one, he's bailing out the defense. It's just too easy to stop. Now here's Beal. 13 points in the game. Pocket six. Passes to Bertans. And it's off from three-point range. Raptors leading by five. Now Trugic, and he could not get that one to go. What a contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Montrez Harrell. And we don't normally see Dragic inside, but credit to the Slovenian for not shying away from the trees. First one falls for him. He hits both from the strike. On offense, here are the Wizards. They're on a 14-6 run. Here's Beal. A shot by Bertans. Nobody around. Misses the three. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Flynn the pass to Achua. Rogic kicks to Flynn. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Wizards trail by seven. And it's Beal in the corner. Now, here's Avdia. He's guarded by Dragic. Now, here's Avdia. 14 points for him. Back to Bertans. And there's a whistle. That goes on Scotty Barnes. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. Doris, one thing you and I love about Davis Bertans is accurate three-point shooting. Well, let's be real. In the modern NBA, there may be no more value to skill than range shooting. Now, when you couple that with Davis' size, look out, folks. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. And Washington making a change here. Dinwiddie's checked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Pass to Flynn. Huggets looking it over. Trying to find Achua and gets it to him. And they pick up two. Achua's got his second bucket tonight. More than capable of running the offense. Dragic knows how to get his teammates involved. Wizards trail by seven. 50 seconds left in the third. There's Beal with the three. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got four assists in the game. Barnes outside. Outside Flynn. Pass to Dragic. Shot clock at six. Driving inside. He can't get that one to fall. Great D that time from Harrell. Barnes against Beal. Shot on the wing and good. Got the English that time as it falls. Now just a two point Raptor lead. And everyone understands what a healthy Bradley Beal can mean to this team. This guy's a terrific shot maker. Three quarters of play in a close game here. 
the Raptors out in front. They lead by a bucket. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Achua is out there with Chris Boucher. Then it's Gary Trent. Then there's Dragic, and it's Barnes, and at the three, the small forward. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. And Beal kicks to Bergeons. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Raptors with the lead. Outside Dragic. Inside Boucher. And the dunk by Boucher. An aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. The Wizards shooting 40% from the field. Dinwiddie against Dragic. And stolen by Achua. And the dunk by Boucher. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the impact shot. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Now the pass to Dinwiddie. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. The three from Bertans doesn't get it to drop for him. And Toronto will go the other way with it. It's off to Boston for him after this game as they take on the Celtics. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. And he makes that one. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for the Wizards. Trailing here by eight. And that one is stuffed right through. That should give them a nice little jolt. Uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GA. Well, sometimes it's about taking it into your own hands. That kind of individual play could spark his group. A drive by Barnes. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. And he can't get the first one. Ken Birch has checked in for Toronto. Fred Van Vliet comes in for Goran Dragic. Then for the Wizards, Daniel Gafford's checked in for Thomas Bryant. Hachimura comes in for Montrez Harrow. And Kyle Kuzma's subbed in for Davis Bertans. Hachimura, no good. Raptors leading by six. And Van Vliet, here we go. Misses from close range. Washington's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Here's Dinwiddie. No good on the three. The Raptors have gone 3 of 4 in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. And the first one at the line is good. The Raptors making a switch here. Ananobi's checked in. Come on, come on. 
Trent hits them both. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. There's Beal with the three. Birch grabs the board. Toronto leading by eight. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Wizards trail by 11. To the paint. Shots good by Gafford. He sees his man has the angle on the interior and drops a dime right there. This is it to Anano. To the right side. Boucher finds Ananobi. Shoots over Kuzma. And the shot will not go from Ananobi. For Washington, they've gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Pass to Dinwiddie. Stolen by Van Vliet. Here's Ananobi. Rebound by the Wizards. Dinwiddie outside. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Van Vliet picks one up. And that one misses. And this August, the Summer League was back in Las Vegas, Greg. And that's where you're from. That's where you played. How pleased are you to see your hometown become a mecca for the game in the offseason? Oh, it is such a proud moment for me, born and raised here, growing up here. And, and quite honestly, I'm just thrilled that we have Summer League again. After what we've gone through, partner, it is just a breath of fresh air to get back to focusing on the little things. Pass to Hachimura. Back to Dinwiddie. Beal gets a wide open look. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got six assists now in the game. Siakam against Hachimura. But Trey, good for basket number seven tonight on a not so unlucky 13 shots. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. Here's Dinwiddie. Good D by Siakam. Toronto leading by eight. And here is Ananobi. And he throws it down hard with one hand. Oh, give it to him at the rim, OG Ananobi. That's power athleticism. Beautifully done. And it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bringing it up now for the Wizards. Outside Beal. There's the three. And again, Washington with the triple. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. Siakam with it. Van Vliet wide open. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Well, Fred Van Vliet says, I am coming right back at you with a three-pointer of my own. Here's Beal. And it's Hachimura in the corner. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. In Toronto, they've gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. And some solid looks for them. Siakam passes to Trent. Out to the right wing. This one for three. Washington with the rebound. Beal's got his fourth rebound in this one. In the corner, it's Dinwiddie. And a miss there on the triple. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. Burge kicks to Ananobi. 
lays it up off the glass. And it's a 12-point Raptor lead. They are just killing them on the interior. Witty. Outside, Beal. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got his eighth assist here tonight. Raptors leading by nine. Van Vliet passes to Siakam. Back to Van Vliet. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And along with production, this team really thrives on Van Vliet's leadership. He sets a great example with his toughness his dedication, and his teammates believe in him and believe they're going to win, partly because of him. And he makes the first. Boy, what a story Fred Van Vliet's NBA journey is. Undrafted out of Wichita State, develops into a tremendous player in Toronto and gets rewarded with the huge contract in the summer of 2020. What a journey. Wizards trail by 11. Outside, Beal. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. When talking about Bradley Beal, Greg, we're not just talking about one of the league's elite shooters. We're talking about one of the league's elite scorers. And if you don't hear Beal mentioned in the same breath as some other NBA superstars, you should. He's capable of putting up a 50-piece on any given night. This is no specialist. This is an absolute superstar. Bradley Beal entered the NBA as a sweet shooter, but consistent work and improvement has turned this guy into an absolutely lethal threat from everywhere on the floor. Van Vliet kicks to Siakam. Out to the right wing. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Rui Hachimura picks one up. Well, with that six foot nine length, right? Siakam uses those long limbs to create contact, get himself some free throws. Nicely done. First free throw is good. And a guy who routinely outworks people. This team feeds off his energy. Well, Pascal Siakam is a guy described by his coach as a speed player. We know the pressure he puts on teams in transition. He's willing to mix it up physically and sacrifice his body in the post. And this guy will leave it all out on the floor. What a ceiling for Pascal Siakam. All that he gives them on offense, Siakam's ability, Greg, to switch defensively is key for this team. And he can legitimately stay in front of guards on the perimeter. I mean, this guy can test shots without fouling. You love the combination of focus and strong fundamentals. And the Raptors call time here. And now let's present our new balance player of the game. And, and to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken it. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys. During the last time out, I listened to Nick Nurse talk to his team. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. Here's Trent. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line.
first free throw is good. And one difference this have is that when they get to the line, they're converting. Trent hits them both. And this team will make you pay when they get chances at the free throw line. It's helped them pull ahead here today. Dinwiddie passes to Gaffer. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. The first free throw is good. One for two that time at the strike. Raptors leading by nine. Now Trent. And the pass to Birch. Out to the wing. The three buries it from three-point range. Ananobi's got seven points for the quarter. Don't give OG Ananobi too much space, boy. He will rise and fire in the catch-and-shoot game. Van Vliet finds Siakam. Here's Hananobi. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Pass to Beal. Fires the three. And it's Van Vliet with the rebound. Pass to Hananobi. And stolen by Kuzma. And here we go. Dinwiddie heading to the hoop. And this is what you want on both ends. To win the battle of effort. And that's exactly what you can control, right? Your desire, your hustle, your will to succeed. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Rui Hachimura picks one up. Now Pascal Siakam looking aggressive and determined, which forces the defender to commit the foul. Siakam hits them both. And Kyle Kuzma now in year one of his three-year $40 million extension. And he's improving. Stronger, better on the boards, finding ways to do more than put the ball in the hole. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would have the lead. Van Vliet passes to Trent. Off the left rim and out. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for the Washington Wizards. A 12-point game. Shoots the three. It's rebounded by Ananobi. Ananobi's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Trent. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Wizards trail by 14. Beal up top, defended by Trent. And it's blocked. One fifty-six left in the fourth quarter of this one. Siakam finds Van Vliet, really left alone that time. And it's now 22 points for Fred Van Vliet. Once Fred Van Vliet sees a few go down, this guy understands it's my night. I'm going to keep cooking. Over to the left wing. The Wizards with another miss. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Pass to Ananobi. Greg, last season, we saw a lot of opinions about the play-in tournament, especially from players. Where did you fall on that thinking? Well, I'm going to put on my fan hat right now, Kevin, and I thought it was exciting. I mean, seeing the stakes get raised for those teams that are right on the edge, I think it brings more interest for teams. But if I was still playing, I probably wouldn't like it if I had locked up the playoffs and still had to go play to earn a berth. 
14 feet away. It falls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Raptors. The coaching staff must be happy that they controlled their turnovers so well in this game. Excellent self-control and patience tonight. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. A very solid win indeed. And when you check out the box, there were some great numbers for Fred Van Vliet. I think it would be impossible to overstate the influence he had on this basketball game. He was the centerpiece of what they did on the offensive end and the anchor of their defense. That's as complete a performance as we've seen. Dinwiddie dishes to Beal. Six on the shot clock, and there's the pass to Kuzma. Shoots over Ananobi, and the shot no good, a bit short. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Gary. A second rounder in 2018, but now you're a key contributor. What does it mean to you to have the confidence of this team? It's unbelievable, you know. Your teammates trust you. When those type of players, those vets, trust you. you know, it's a great thing, you know. Being the coaching staff, we work on this every day. So, you know, it's great to finally see it paying off. Man, I know you've put the work in, and I'm glad to see it happening on the court. Thanks for your time. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.